So, you know, what's funny is that, like, um, I was just sitting in the shower, you know, like, you know, I like everyone in the shower, people think. And I was thinking about, like, hmm, you know, why all of, why is Kari and Atlas lagging someone's server when it's, I did testing, by the way, and it's using, like, 0.001% of the CPU per player. And so I was just bringing up all the correlations of the times people complained about errors popping out from Atlas um, from its block util thing. And then I realized that if it's not going to go asynchronous because the chunk isn't loaded or generated, then it's going to put it on the main thread and force the chunk to load. And then um, what I did to fix that, which caused more errors, you know, because uh, I changed the millisecond time to like response time for it to load to five before, or it just returns nothing. I realized that, oh, so these faction servers are on their release and this is happening on their release. So that means that the players are just going from spawn all around the map. And then I think back to when I was working at Teams MC and I'm just like, oh, I remember that we'd, before the server release, we'd have a plugin called World Border. And what we'd do is that we'd uh, load all the chunks, which would take like 12 hours, because I think it was a 10K map. And um, we put like 40 gigs of RAM to it. Um, and we didn't have any problems with lag from chunks. And when I was looking at the timings of servers, I realized, oh, now I'm creating this video as a PSA for people who are having lag because of Atlas. So here we're gonna go on here. I'm working on a new speed check. So that's something I need to take note of. Okay. So we have our plugin world border. Do we, do we, do we, do we? We do, okay. So from wherever you're spawn, you're going to want to set a world border. And what this will do is it'll prevent players from going outside of this border. And so let's say, what world am I in? I'm in world. So world set. So we'll, um, you can set the corners, but I'm going to do a radius. So we're going to say a thousand blocks, a thousand blocks. Um, spawn. Okay. So from the spawn point, it set a border radius of a thousand. So from a thousand that way and a thousand that way, there is a square. Um, you can do so many ways to set this. So make sure that you have enough RAM so the chunks do not have to keep on unloading and loading, uh, which will basically defeat the purpose of doing this. Uh, once you do this once, you can restart your server. It'll all be generated. Just make sure that you have enough RAM. If you have a 10,000, um, if you have a 10,000 radius map, I suggest you have 30 to 40 gigs of RAM, 25 gigs of RAM minimum. That's risking it. If you don't have that many players 20, and, and plugins, 25 gigs of RAM. If you have a lot of players, make sure you add it. You want as much RAM as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and fill it. So we're going to say world fill. And here is um, what I found. So you're going to want to set the how many uh, things it's going to process per second. Um, it is much nicer to have this on a good CPU. So we're going to say 20. And then we're going to, um, you will do want something outside of the border a little bit. And the reason why you want that is because um, if people have their uh, vision um, on the client side uh, higher than your border, like let's say I go to my settings and I set this all the way to extreme. That's about, uh, yeah, like look, 512 blocks out. So the farthest you can go is 256 meters blocks, really. Meters is blocks. So if I were you, I would change that to 600. So we'll say fill 2600. And we're going to want to say WD fill confirm. And this will take years. Not literally, but a while. You want to let this run. And I would not recommend you let anyone join the server at that time. So here, we'll go ahead and pop this up. So here you can see that it's um, going to say this in Chunkle. And is this free memory you do want to pay attention to? So as you see here, it's going to go pretty fast because it's only a thousand border. So um, there you go. So this is how you're going to be able to prevent lag on your server. You do want as much RAM as possible. So and auto save, I guess, off as it says. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And as always, make sure you set up your faction per, uh, server properly or don't have a faction server at all. Thanks.